everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm using It's Judy Time palette to recreate this look, so let's get started. I already prepped and primed my face with the moisturizer, and now I'm using the number two from It's Judy Time palette onto the crease to do a transition color. And then I'm going to come in with the dark color, which is number five, into the outer V, and just like blend it upwards towards the crease area. I'm just adding a little bit more color to the crease to deepen the color and then I'm gonna blend it inwards to my inner corner to create some depth for the eyeshadow and then just leaving the middle one blank. And then I will go back and transition color again, number two, and just blend that all out so you're satisfied. And then go back in with number five to deepen it a little bit. And then I will go in number one, the cream color and just put it in the middle and just pack it lightly. And then I'm just going back with number five to blend out the edges from the cream color. And then I'm just going to tight line my eyes with the Makeup Forever Eyeliner. This part is always tricky because I always tear up, as you can see, like right here. <laughs> And then I'm just going to go in with the Bobbi Brown eyeliner and just wing out the line. And I'm just trying to do a thin, very thin line. As you can see, it's kind of like a cut crease. But I always mess up and always make it thicker. As you can see, it's slowly becoming thicker. Now onto the brows, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in medium brown and just fill in the scars areas. Then use a spoolie to blend the eyebrows and then use a highlighter in the upper corner. And then put on your favorite foundation and then you're going to blend it out with a beauty blender and get all your inner corners and everywhere else. And as you're blending, don't forget to get your neckline because you need to blend your foundation there. And then go with your lighter concealer right as I'm using, and I'm using M Cosmetics in a lighter color, and then blend that out because I'm using it as a highlight. And then I'm going to use Bot and Conceal and then set it with Banana Powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with Tarte Smooth Operator Powder. And then I'm going to go back with number 5 and put it under my lower lash line to give it more in-depth, smoky eye kind of look. And then I'm going to use an eyelash curler to curl my lashes. And then use your favorite mascara, and I'm using Makeup Forever mascara, and then you're going to contour your face. And I'm using Havana from Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. And I'm just doing my cheekbones and blending it downwards to my neck area, as you can see. And then don't forget your nose well, area as well. And then I'm going to finish off this look with a Luppy from YSL. And it's called Rose Intention number 17. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this tutorial helpful and see you next time on to the next tutorial, okay? Bye!